Hello everyone and welcome to another video on my channel. Today I am not doing a suburban house, I am actually doing a modern build. It's actually a modern museum in Newcrest, which is the blank world that comes with The Sims 4. It has no lots on it whatsoever and you get to basically just like make it your own. So I've been working on doing that in my current household save. Right now I'm doing the legacy challenge. I'm probably gonna do a current household video type thing in, I don't know, I don't know when I'm gonna do that. I might actually film that later today. I don't know, I've yet to decide. Uh, I don't really wanna do any Let's Plays on my channel yet because I don't really have like that many subscribers. So I don't think that anybody is gonna watch like a random 50 part Let's Play on my channel unless I like have loyal subscribers you know what I mean <laughs> once I have more subscribers that aren't just my boyfriend <laughs> I'll go ahead and do something like that because right now he's like four of my subscribers on all of his accounts because he's a good being so one thing I've been kind of I don't want to say struggling with because I'm not it's not really like that big of a problem it's just like a thing in my life uh, I have really weird dreams, and that's because I take anxiety and antidepressant medication, which can mess up with your sleep and things like that, so my sleep is an interesting time. Um, I've definitely been sleeping a lot better than I did when I wasn't taking medication, but it does make me have some weird dreams. Uh, I have a lot of weird dreams about sc about school most of the time. A lot of the times it's just like weird and it's nothing necessarily bad but sometimes they're like absolute nightmares so that's a fun time last night I had a dream that my mom had this like doppelganger type person and I had to like fight them and like kill them it was very graphic and very weird am I gonna get demonetized for actually no I'm not even I actually can't even monetize the videos yet because I don't have enough views I think I need like 10,000 views or something like that to actually put like monetized ads in my videos so just refresh my videos like 20 times and eventually I'll get there <laughs> um anyway yeah that was a weird dream I also have a lot of reoccurring dreams about theater because as I've mentioned before in some of my other videos, I used to be a theater kid, a really big theater kid, and I'm not a big theater kid anymore. And I have reoccurring dreams, not every night, but a few times a week about theater. So I don't know if that's some type of sign that maybe I shouldn't have quit, I need to go back or something like that, I don't know. I'm not like, I tell myself I'm not superstitious, but then I go and say things like that. And my boyfriend always says like, oh, you're for somebody who's not superstitious, you sure seem pretty... Superstitious. <laughs> he doesn't say that exactly, but you know what I mean. So right now we're going ahead and just getting the basic shell of the museum down. All of my builds are based off of real real builds that I see on the interwebs. I usually go ahead and like search suburban house, and I try to get some inspiration from other homes that I see on Google. So if you're trying to build homes and you're not really that great at building, or at least you're not great at coming up with ideas and how to set up your home, then that's a really good option for you. And I would suggest doing that if you're kind of in a, build, a bit of a building slump. I'm definitely not in a building slump right now. I'm having so much fun with building in The Sims right now. I really love building. It's just so much fun to make homes and things like that. Right now I'm making the bathrooms. Uh, yeah, they're just basic bathrooms with some modern decor. I put the talking toilets in there from City Loving. I've never really played with those because they kind of freak me out because you can like give them names and things like that which is kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Like having like a pet toilet but it's not really a pet. It's just like a weird toilet that talks. I don't know. I love The Sims because it has really weird things like that and yeah. Oh and a few days ago um Yesterday, for me, the day I'm recording this, um, The Sims released a teaser trailer for the new game packs that are coming out this quarter. I'm really excited because I didn't play The Sims 3, but a lot of people are comparing the teaser trailer, one of the parts, to Island Adventures, which is kind of like a vacation place, which I would love to have another vacation place to go visit. I really love Granite Falls, and I recently got outdoor retreat like just like a few weeks ago like I haven't had it that long even though it's been out for like years now 
my boyfriend got it for me because he's a great noodle. I got it for Christmas and I really love it so much. I love all of the like rustic, woodsy, cabiny decor that it comes with. And I love Granite Falls so much. And I would love to be able to have my Sims buy property in Granite Falls and like live there, but that's not a thing. I, there's a mod that you can download to do that. And I tried getting it once, but I don't know. I also like the idea of my Sims going there to visit as well. And it's just such a fun little place to go. And I love it so much. And I tried playing with the herbalism skill a little bit, but it really wasn't that interesting to me. I would have to say it's one of those skills that everybody kind of forgets about in The Sims. I feel like there are a lot of skills that people have their Sims do all the time, like the writing skill and the painting skill and the fitness skill, but then there's stuff like herbalism that everybody kind of forgets about. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a random skill, and it's not really that easy to practice either. I don't know. What's the hardest skill to max in The Sims? I don't know. Um, I would say cooking is really easy because it's like cooking. Painting is also pretty easy. I don't know. Charisma always takes so long, and so does a comedy skill. Because I've been playing the Not So Berry Challenge, as I've mentioned before, and there are certain generations that I've had more fun with than others. My favorite so far has to be the third generation, which I think is a lot of people's favorite generations. It's the yellow generation, and basically you have to be an astronaut and be like all into like the handiness skill and things like that. I loved that generation so much. I also loved the gray generation, which was Gen 4. I love the one so much. And right now my current profile picture on YouTube is my Gen 4 Sim named Gracie. And she's so cute. I love her so much. It's sad because she's dead now. I don't know. Maybe I'll make her alive in another save and just have her as like a townie. Oh, I should do that. I should have like my own like little starter save that I start my games in. And I can have like all my new crest slots in there. And then my old Sims from like Not So Berry. Aww. I'm actually really good about playing my Sims games for multiple generations. Right now with my legacy, my current household legacy challenge that I'm doing, I'm only on Gen 2, but that's because I started it a few days ago. Well, actually, no, I'm not even on Gen 2. Gen 2 was just born, but I haven't like really started focusing on Gen 2 that much. I do have another save on my computer that's, I think I got to like Gen 6 or 7 or something like that. So yeah, I'm pretty dedicated when it comes to my current households. I very rarely start playing a save and then abandon it after like one generation or two generations. I usually play it for multiple generations until the lagging and all that starts to get so bad. Then at that point, like sometimes you have to stop, but it's not too bad. My computer is pretty good at running The Sims. I'm able to play it on like all, I think, I think I have all the ultra settings. I might not have lighting on ultra. I think I might have it on high. I should change that. I don't know, for a while I was playing it on a really low graphic setting because I didn't think that my com com my computer could handle that. But honestly, The Sims is so like such a really beautiful game if you play it on the right game settings because if you just have like the low settings then it kind of looks like crap. But if you have it on like higher settings, it looks so pretty. So right now I'm just furnishing the upstairs, not the upstairs, I think this is like the third floor. And I have all of my random museum sculpture things just kind of scattered on the bottom floor so I can kind of like see what I have to work with and then I'm placing them upstairs. Upstairs in this area I wanted to kind of have like a writing nook kind of like a lot of the sculptures that are dedicated to art. So what I kind of had in mind for this museum is that each section kind of has its own little theme. So there's like one little corner that's like space and science and astronauts. There's one corner that's like for the athletics and just a bunch of like awards that people have won. Kind of like a hall of fame type of thing. And then later on, I make a really pretty garden in the background, which background, backyard area, like the, I don't know. It's so beautiful and I love it so much. And at first I didn't think it was gonna work because I was just looking at all these sculptures with the flat terrain and I was like, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna make it work? I'm getting so much better at landscaping in The Sims. I used to just do like a couple rows of hedges and then just call it a day. But lately I've been putting like all of like the, I think it's like pale yellow flowers. I love that landscaping thing so much. It's probably like my favorite little landscaping piece, the pale yellow flowers. I love it so much and I put it on like all of my builds and yeah, I'm probably going to be using that for a while until we get new stuff. But back to the teaser trailer. I'm really excited for laundry day stuff. I don't remember what it's actually called. That's actually the name. It's something like that. But I'm really excited for that to come out and hopefully I'll be able to get it 
and hopefully I won't be broke and not be able to get it. I'm really excited to do like a little homey type builds with like laundry rooms in them. That's gonna be so cute. I'm so excited for that. Even though it's literally laundry and I hate doing laundry. I've already made a video where I talked about briefly how I don't like doing the laundry and how I don't like hanging up my clothes and how I usually wait a long time to do that. And yeah, I'm a piece of trash, it's fine. Yeah, I have a lot of flannels. This is so random. I have so many flannels and I only wear like three of them. A lot of them are left over from eighth grade when I was in this like, I call it my internalized emo phase because I was never like outright like emo, like, you know, really bad. But I did like have that phase where I like listened to like classic rock that I heard on Supernatural because I thought it was so cool. Like I'm so cool. Like I'm not like other girls. Like I'm really just like a punk rock girl, you know, like I, you know, I never like really dressed the part. The closest I got to dressing the part was wearing flannels all the time. But yeah, I just look back at that now when I just cringe. I was also a huge fangirl and I was so obsessed with Dan and Phil and I used to watch Dan and Phil all the time, like every day. And I even went to their, like, tour thing whenever they came to Kansas City, which I have to admit was pretty cool, and I really enjoyed that so much. And I think I started crying at some point, if I remember correctly. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I also met Twames when he came to Kansas City. But whenever he went on tour this year, he did not come to Kansas City, and I'm very offended, Twames. I, I know you're watching. <laughs> I know you're, you're totally watching this random Sims 4 speed build, but Twames, come on. I would have totally gone. Actually, my boyfriend and I went to go see Twames whenever he came here. We went together. That was before we were dating. That was like in eighth grade. And now I'm a sophomore. So it's been a while. It actually hasn't been that long. It feels a lot longer than it actually has been. Wow, time flies. Am I right? I still can't believe that like second semester is already going to start. And it's like freaking me out because I have to go back tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to go back. I really don't. Um, I'm really excited because I'm taking drawing one. I officially checked my schedule this morning and it's already been changed to drawing one. Uh, there was like this weird like gap and like glitch in the app where there was like a space between fourth and fifth hour on my schedule. So it looked like I only had four classes and I kind of freaked out for a second because I was like, ah, now I have to get that fixed or else I'm not going to be enrolled in like all the classes I need to like graduate, <laughs> which is scary, which of course I would have been able to get it fixed like right away. But yeah. This time last year, I was also changing my schedule, but that was to get into my English program. So I don't think there's ever been a year in middle school, not middle school, like middle school and high school combined, that I haven't had to change my schedule. I think sixth grade, I kept my schedule the same because I didn't really have that many options as it was. But seventh grade, oh my God. I was accidentally enrolled in the eighth grade choir class and it was like really like, freaked me out because I was new to that school and like I enrolled but for some reason they put me in eighth grade instead of the seventh grade class and my teacher was just like wow how does it feel to be an eighth grader guys and I was just there like <laughs> I can't relate I don't think I'm supposed to be here and then apparently I was not supposed to be there and that kind of traumatized me a lot and my schedule changed quite a bit after that not quite a bit it was just like a few hours changed around but I and I did not end up having gym that semester which was nice so I got to take a break because I hate gym class so much. I don't even want to get started about that. I was thinking about gym class today and freshman year and oh god that's awful. I swear high school gets so much better once you don't have to take gym class because gym class is just oof. It's not a fun time. It's really not. Um, I think the class that scarred me the most from high school has to be biology. Oh my god my biology teacher last year She's not the nicest person. She was, like, not a really good teacher, and, like, I just, I don't know. She's part of the reason why I ended up dropping my, like, science program that I was in. She w she didn't even teach it, but just she made me hate biology so much after that. And she kind of, like, scarred me for life. I don't even remember what it was about her, just, like, something about her. I think the reason why I can't remember anything about her from freshman year is that I blocked all of that, like, out of my memory. Like, I legitimately cannot remember a lot of aspects of freshman year because I think it was just so scarring that I just forgot about it. If you're, like, an eighth grader in middle school, I swear, <laughs> high school isn't that bad. It's actually, it's been kind of easy for me so far. I haven't really struggled in any classes except for biology. But, yeah, I remember the summer before freshman year, I was watching, like, a bunch of videos on YouTube about, like, you know, like, back-to-school stuff. 
and this one girl was talking about like biology was awful. I hated biology so much. It was such a hard class. And then I was thinking, oh, biology wouldn't be that bad. I'm really gonna like it. But no, I did not know. But that was foreshadowing. <laughs> of course, me being the English nerd that I am, of course, looks at that instead of just like a coincidence. Instead, I think of it as like foreshadowing. See, somehow the world was trying to warn me. Uh, <laughs> something dumb like that. I don't know. I'm not like religious at all. And I'm, I don't call myself superstitious, but I really kind of am. <laughs> like there's this one turtleneck that I own. So cute. Pastel pink, I got it from Forever 21 around my birthday. But both of the days that I wore it, I ended up having a panic attack. And literally the day I got home that I had the second panic attack in that shirt, I threw it in the trash. A few days later, I ended up taking, out of, taking it out of the trash and I washed it and everything. But I have not worn it since then. And I'm really scared to wear it because I don't know, I just feel like if I wear it again, I'm gonna have a really bad day. And my mom thought it was so stupid when I told her I wanted to get rid of the shirt. Cause like I paid money for that shirt. It was probably like 12 bucks, granted. But, oh my God, it's so cute. But it has so many bad memories. And I just, like there's one dress that I wore for a choir competition I was in, in eighth grade. We did really bad. Spoiler alert, we did so bad. It wasn't even my fault, it was because one of the girls ended up singing like the second verse instead of the first verse and it threw all of us off. And we would have done so well and I was so proud of us until that happened and it was literally all her fault. Like there was nothing I could have done. I was just sitting there like <laughs> singing the tenor part, wanting to die. It's fine, it's fine, really, it's fine. It's not like I'm still bitter about that. It's not like every time I look in my closet, I cringe at that dress and I had to give it away to a friend because I tried to wear it a few times and couldn't leave the house because I was too scarred for life. I ended up actually throwing away our third place medal because I was so scared. Not scared, but just like traumatized. It just, it scarred me for life, seriously. Okay, my step grandma is a college professor. She teaches chemistry. And over Christmas dinner, we were talking about how like school really just like scars you for life, especially high school and middle school. I feel like a lot of the problems I have today are because of things that happen in middle school. But just like the whole having like nightmares about school, even once you graduated, like having nightmares that you can't get your locker open or like you don't know how to get to your class or like you failed the last class you needed to, to graduate. Like my mom and my step grandma and pretty much everybody has dreams like that at some point, which I mean, it just shows that like school is a really scarring thing. Like people can be so mean in school, like especially middle school girls. Oh my God, what a nightmare. Maybe one day I'll talk about my middle, my middle school experience. Hopefully I won't end up like crying because I have like a mental breakdown thinking about middle school but yeah uh, a rough time I don't know just something about school just like the pressure that everybody has to have a really high GPA and have to like sell yourself to colleges and you feel the need to be in a bunch of extracurriculars that way colleges will look at you and be like this is a good bean we want this bean let's accept this bean let's give this bean a kind of overrated degree that's probably gonna cost more money than it's actually worth <laughs> but yeah I was really worried once I quit theater that I wasn't gonna be able to get into college because I was like nobody's gonna like me because I don't do anything that's really extracurricular but I mean I do YouTube uh, I'm, in that, I'm in that English program I'm also on the newspaper staff at my school so I do I do enough and my chemistry teacher kind of oh we're already going into the screenshots. I just got cut off on my own video. I'll talk about that another time. But yeah, um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more future videos. All my links that I just made are in the description down below. So make sure you go ahead and check those out if you wanna follow me. And yeah, uh, subscribe for more trashy videos in the future. <laughs> Bye.